Hello and welcome to Ascension Diary Part 5. This one is Information, Truth, and Tarot. Now, everybody believes that something is true or it's not true. And to a degree, that's true. But truth has varying degrees. And I have a couple examples. And, and I got them from a, a book called Fact Versus Fiction. There is a universal truth. There's many universal truths. Um, like God is love. That is universally true all the way up the scale of truth to the highest level of truth. Now, if I make a statement like today's freedom fighter is tomorrow's tyrannical leader, that statement, there is some truth to that, but it don't rise up to be an ultimate universal truth. So there's shades of gray. Truth is subjective and objective. It's, it's everything. It's, there's a lot into truth, which brings up the next point, which is information. Information leads to truth. Information is something that we gather, all of us, on, on our journey everywhere. Information is what we gather, and we come up with our truth. Um, is our truth right individually? I would say for each individual person it is. So in that sense, truth has many shades. And information comes in bits and pieces. We never get all of the information. Nobody has 100% of the information. Therefore, nobody has 100% of the truth. And, and nobody can present anything as being 100% truthful because nobody gets the 100% of information. And now that throws me back to information. Information we collect in bits and pieces. We get it from anywhere we can. Our eyes, our intuition, our feelings, which is a bad place sometimes. And our hearts, other people. We get information from everywhere. We have to take this information and process it through ourselves and, and, and look at it through our own lens of distortion that we have created for ourselves because nobody can see clearly. We all have a, we all see through a, a type of filter that we've designed. So understanding can't be complete for a lot of things if our filter don't let the information through. So a lot of this is just letting information through. You have to let it in to see how it comes out. Um, again, bits and pieces is all the information we get. I started doing tarot cards, and yes, you get information. Information does come through. It's, it's amazing how it works. I don't understand it. I guess, you know, the idea we're all connected or, you know, this is my journey into 4D. But I do get a lot of bits of information. I try to put it out. As, as best as I can. I'm not sure how correct I am. I know for a fact that tarot is really bad with trying to say when something is going to happen. It is really good at saying this is before it was like this, now it is like this, and this is what is coming. It's really good at stuff like that. It's really good at telling a story. But as far as trying to predict when something will happen, it's really bad at that. So this is the whole idea of tarot. It's, it's good at a story. It's good at feelings of how others feel in areas. And it's, it, it is bits and pieces of information. I put it all together the best that I can. And, and I'm going to present all of it. But I, I just want everybody to understand what truth is, what information is, and how tarot relates to all of that. And... 
now that you have an understanding of that, if you just come in this video and you're watching it, I hope you go back and watch all the previous videos to get, you know, to get where you are because they are all truly, really interconnected. And I really don't want to go back and repeat much of any, anything I've done in the past video. So we're on this journey. We're about ready to go. And I think the next step now is for me to just start presenting it from my journal, my, my tarot journey, my journey through 4D. And that will be my next video, will be the start of that. Thanks for joining me on this one. And thanks for holding in there. See you soon.